Hello, today we're going to be talking about the fizz buzz problem and this is a common Corden interview question. It usually looks like this. So we output integers from 1 to 100 and for each multiple of 3 we print fizz, for each multiple of 5 we print buzz and for multiples of both 3 and 5 we print fizz buzz. Let's start off by firstly outputting numbers from 1 to 100. So we have a for loop, we can simply do for i is 1 and for i is less than 101, keep incrementing i. Then simply console.log i. We can then see on our console right here, we've got the numbers 1 to 100. Next we want to check to see whether these numbers are divisible by 3. So we can say if i is divisible by 3, then console.log fizz. Can then see we get one two three fizz four five six fizz but we don't actually want to be displaying three we want to be simply displaying fizz instead but we'll get to that in a second next we'll check to see whether the numbers are a multiple of five and if they are we'll simply log buzz and we can see at our both our three and five multiples we get fizz and buzz so let's make it now so we don't actually show three and five let's move our console log statement into if it doesn't match either fizz or buzz, simply log it out. As you can see, we get 1, 2, fizz, 4, buzz, fizz, which is multiples of 3 and 5. Now for multiples of both 3 and 5, we need to print fizz buzz. Now you might think that we could go else if is divisible by 3 and is divisible by 5, print fizz buzz. But you'll notice that that doesn't work. And that's simply because it's hitting either one of these two conditionals first and never actually hitting this. So we need to move this up to the top, like so, and then add our else statement here, and remove the else from the top statement. We can then see if it's divisible by both three and five, we get fizz buzz. So we can improve this by making it a little bit easier to read. We could simply say var multiple of three, and multiple of five, and then switching out our statements for our new variables. And you'll see, as expected, we get the same result. Multiples of three are fizz, multiples of five are buzz, and for both, we get fizz buzz. So there we go, the fizz buzz problem. If this helped, then hit the subscribe button for more programming tutorials. And until then, I'll see you next time.